Not far away, in the East End of London, another fighter from a Jewish immigrant family made his impact on the boxing world nearly 80 years ago. Ted Kid Lewis, real name Gershon Mendelhoff, was the pride of Stepney. He was also the most outstanding British boxer of the 20th century. By any standards, his achievements were quite amazing. He fought in every division from bantamweight to heavyweight. He had more than 300 recorded professional fights, 42 of them championship matches. He began as a flyweight at the age of 14, and by the time he had won the British and European featherweight titles at the age of 19, he had already clocked up more than 100 fights, often fighting two or three times in the same week. He was famous for the sustained ferocity of his attacks. He was a hard, rip-roaring little boxer who would never give in. The greatest feature of his career was the long-running saga in America with Jack Britton that lasted for five years to decide the welterweight championship. It began in 1915 when Lewis first took the championship from Britain and ended when Britton knocked him out in 1919. They once met three times in 20 days. During those five years, Kid Lewis fought an incredible total of 100 bouts. Back home in 1920, Lewis had another busy year when, at the age of 26, he fought the great welterweight Jimmy Basham to add the British, European and Empire welterweight titles to his two world titles. The referee steps between Lewis and the fallen fighter as he starts to count. Basham is up and Lewis moves in for the kill. Lewis stays right after him. A leaping right smashes Basham to the canvas. Johnny is trying to rise, but that punch would have fought a heavyweight. At 155 pounds, Lewis felt like taking on world heavyweight Jack Dempsey. To place him in contention for a chance at Dempsey, he challenged the holder of the world light heavyweight title, Georges Carpentier of France. For the fighters to enter the ring. Lewis is the first to arrive. Ted has got all of England rooting for him, and he's in the finest shape of his life. Ted realizes he's getting in there with one of the great world champions of all time. George shakes hands with Ted Kid Lewis, and now it's just moments away from fight time. If Lewis can take the world title tonight, it will be one of the greatest upsets of English boxing history. World heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey enters the ring and wishes Carpentier good luck. Jack strodes across the ring to greet Ted and shake his hand. Dempsey, resplendent in tuxedo, is then introduced to the vast audience. And Jack smiles warmly at his reception. The crowd knows that just eight months ago, Jack knocked out Carpentier in the United States when Georges challenged Jack for the heavyweight title. Ted Kid Lewis comes right out bombing. Lewis, the smaller of the two men, to the right of your screen, throwing punches there on the inside. The referee breaks the two fighters. No hitting on the break, he tells the two men. Lewis to the right of your screen. Lewis working hard on the inside as Carpentier breaks. Lewis ripping those punches in there on the inside. Both men working in close.
Carpentier trying to use that great weight advantage. Lewis lost has become legend as the only time he ignored the basic rule of never taking your eye off the opponent. In the first round, he turned to query an instruction from the referee when a crashing right-hander knocked him out for the count. A tremendous right by Georges Carpentier. Lewis is down. Of all the, the boxers who continued in the tradition of Muhammad Ali, by far the most talented and certainly the most enduring is Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray Charles.